What's going on my YouTubers? It is your boy, Ghostface gave you back once again. This time I have a COVID-19 or coronavirus relief benefits update. Since there's a lot of misconfusion going on out there about what's going on with the stimulus package and how much are people going to receive and who's allowed and to get the payments and you know it's it's a lot going on in the world as far as coronavirus or the cov19 epidemic um or pandemic is concerned me personally myself yes i am being affected uh as of today columbia or richland county not the entire state but richland county issued a stay at home advisory or a stay at home order for 14 days here in Columbia. Now we were already on a curfew from 11 to 6. You know, to try to combat what's going on with the virus and, you know, combat the spread of the virus because of the due to the ignorance of a lot of people, you know, it's been bad spread because, you know, us as millennials, we got that I don't give a fuck attitude. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. And with that kind of ignorance and not taking the virus seriously, it has tremendously spread. So, with that being said, some precautions have taken place. You have states like California, Washington State, New York, Louisiana is having a mass outbreak yesterday at 8.30 a.m. North Carolina shut their state down, so we pretty much knew we were coming. Now, our entire state is not shut down. But Charleston and Columbia is shut down. You know, outside counties like Lexington County, Kershaw County, even though Kershaw should be shut down. But they've had been on curfew and, you know, said certain precautions, which has pretty much curbed or capsized the spread. But we still haven't seen the virus come to a head itself yet. So... As far as the stimulus package here is concerned, I wanted to get a lot of that misinformation out of the way. And at the closer to the end of the video, once I get this information out, I'll be going into the stay at home order and how much sits it make as far as what businesses will be open and what businesses won't be open. We'll get into that a little bit later in the video. But as of right now, as you can see, some of the slides that are passing through it fly by you. As you can see, some of them fly by you. Like I say, some of these pedals you go to see fly by you is breaking down some of the logistics and some of the things behind the stimulus package, which I'm about to go ahead and get into. So like my, me, myself, I said I was affected. When I went to work the other day, I was told by one of the ladies uh, that shouted out at HR that I needed to go ahead and file for partial unemployment. They had went ahead and took me off the schedule for the rest of the week, but they said I had two days on the schedule next week. And since my hours have been cut significantly because of COVID-19 crisis, I should go ahead and file for the unemployment benefits that you know will compensate me for the time that i'm missing out of work so let's get into the relief package benefits okay the package would provide a one-time direct payment to americans twelve hundred dollars per adult make up to 75k per year twenty four hundred to married couples up to one hundred and fifty k per year meaning if both y'all make about seventy five thousand a year and it could equals up to a hundred and fifty thousand then y'all will be receiving twelve hundred a piece which equals out to twenty four hundred and five hundred per child so that's meaning in some cases some families will receive let's see twenty four hundred for the couples at five hundred per child so in the case of me and my wife we have two children that we claim my do oldest daughter is with her mother so there's two children in our household plus me and her so technically 24 that's 3400 dollars you're getting now with me filing for unemployment which we're gonna get into but let me finish it this okay so after that you the real id has been delayed until 2020 2021 excuse me so if you haven't gotten your real id yet it has been delayed till 2021 
Student loan payments have been suspended until September 30th and no foreclosures for 60 days after March 18th of this year. So your student loan payments are suspended until September, to the end of September. And if you're late on your mortgage right now or because of what's going on and you can't really get your mortgage paid until those stimulus packages roll in, then they can't go to the court system for foreclosures until 60 days. You know what I'm saying? They have 60 days before they can file it. Hopefully the country will be up and back and running by no later than July, August. But you know, just be prepared. The kids, my kids for sure ain't going back the rest of this year. And if you have kids here in South Carolina, just be prepared to hear that they're not going back for the rest of the year. Now let's get into the unemployment real quick because I'm not trying to keep y'all too long, just giving y'all some information. Now the unemployment side of it, the bill allocates $250 billion to extend the unemployment insurance from 39 from 26 weeks to 39 weeks and an extra $600 a week for the next four months months meaning on the average like let's say we did the averages out i will be making probably somewhere around 150 a week so that 150 a week that's just for my part time that's actually logged from that 150 a week plus the 600 so on the plus end i have the possibility of making up to seven hundred and fifty dollars a week up until these packages come now look before i get into into anything else like for the small business loans and all the other stuff let's be realistic about it now even with the stimulus package coming out and it's been signed even though it's ain't technically been signed in the law yet and they get the process paperwork to the treasury let's be real there has been no paperwork that's come out or checks that's come out from the federal government in no less than about six weeks so people are wondering how long this thing could take to get to us just be prepared to just be prepared like to get your check no later than august they said december of this year but if you have direct deposits whatever bank account you had when you did your tax returns a few months ago then that's the it will be that's where your funds will be deposited at they will give you a letter in the mail for up to 15 days before it is deposited in your account so as far as when exactly the date they will drop that is the best answer i can give you when you're dealing with the u.s department of treasury it could take up to six weeks they said three to four weeks us here in south carolina we're locked down in columbia we're locked down for 14 days so on average by the time those unemployment checks get to roll it in and the stimulus checks will probably hopefully inshallah be out of the the the, the self-quarantine that we have going on here now these are some of the essential bars and businesses that are going to be open here in columbia while we all the stay at home advisory so your hospitals police and fire departments walk-in health care home health care emergency dental care Emergency dental care, child care, grocery stores, convenience stores, gas stations, restaurants, takeout delivery, all veterinary services, animal shelters, garages, elder care, telecommunication data centers, airport, bus systems, garage, recycling, automobile sales, essential manufacturers, food processes, big box stores, hotels and motels, funeral homes, laundromats, mailing, shipping, homeless shelters, food banks, banks and credit unions, of course, just the ATMs check cashing place construction skill trade so on and so forth okay so let's be real here let's 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 just be real. let's just go ahead and be all the way real here now a lot of now the older places that are really close the places like you know the barbershop and the beauty salon one of the places i work at where i make money you know what i'm saying and like bars and stuff like that you know what I'm saying just for the most part just about everything else is open everything else is still open and up and running for business right Governor McMaster himself said that he feels like it's really no need for an entire state lockdown because he feels like, you know, South Carolinians will use a little bit of common sense that they have. And that's all. That's all this is using just a little bit of the common sense that God gave you. If you feel like you're sick, stay at home. Just stay your ass at home. 
go get tested if you feel really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? Wash your damn hands. You know what I'm saying? Keep the surfaces clean. Because this virus is really about to come to a head here in America because of our laxy days in this and our attitude towards the virus itself, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, take care of each other and take care of your family, man. Nothing like this has been seen in a hundred years here in America. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we killed Bin Laden. We had the Twin Towers fall and we still ain't seen nothing like this here in America. The, the entire country itself is on lockdown. The entire world. Nothing like this in our lifetime has ever been seen. So, I ask and I beg of my viewers and subscribers out there, I beg of all of you, just just use a little common sense in this situation like this. If you can get a hold of some M95 masks, you know what I'm saying, make sure you're using proper precautions and taking care of your home, man. Just just try to stay away from crowds and do the best that you can, man, to take care of yourself and your family. It's your boy Ghostface Gaming. Like, subscribe, and share, y'all, and I'm out. I'll be back later.